everyone! This year I have an aim to vlog at least once a month and just show you guys what goes on um, throughout our week or in our months. Uh, so today is the first vlog of the year for January. <laughs> so I just finished up editing my G Master 35mm f1.4 creative photo shoot video. It's all color graded and ready to export. I want to show you guys something really satisfying. So. Dan filmed this video and he has been filming our videos on the Sony a7S III in S-Log and the color grade is so satisfying. I love looking at the before and after, so I'll show you guys what it looks like. That's better. So before I export this video, I do want to shut down my computer because I bought two sticks of 32 gig RAM that I want to put into my iMac. I currently have 40 gigs of RAM, but I have found that sometimes when I'm working on a tight schedule, I usually have Adobe Premiere Pro open, I have Photo Mechanic open, Lightroom open, Bridge open, Photoshop open, and I'm kind of editing photos as I'm editing the video just so I don't edit anything extra that I don't need to. So I don't waste any time and I do feel like my computer has been struggling a little bit so I want to upgrade the RAM and hopefully that will help it out with this heavy kind of workload stuff that I do and I'm gonna show you guys how I change the RAM as well so I'm gonna just shut everything down see everything's open it's always open As you can see, I have two SSD hard drives. They're both two terabytes each on the back of my computer. And this is where I put all my files and edit from. I've taken the hard drives off just to make some space. And the place where we're gonna put our RAM is just back here on the iMac. So I'm gonna grab these pliers and just push. There's like a little button right above the power cable area. So if we push on that, it's gonna pop open that little door. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. And then if you, there's like two little pins on either side and if you pull them outwards, it's gonna bring out the little RAM tray. So I have already added some RAM to my computer. So I've got two that came with the iMac and then two that I bought and put in before. So I'm gonna just take them all out. I feel like the first one is always the hardest one to take out. Okay. They're all out. If you find it easier, you can lay your Mac face down instead, but I thought I'd just do it this way. And that's also for me the hardest part because I've got like <laughs> fat fingers, it's just hard to take them out. But now we're gonna put them back in. I'm gonna start with the 16 and start from the bottom, work my way up. And this is a new one. I feel like I'm going cross-eyed. <laughs> sure they're all pressed in and then you just bring the handles back up and if you put them in correctly the handles will just click back in super easily <laughs> this thing is so hard to get back in oh that sounds disgusting okay we got there <laughs> all right now we turn on my computer and make sure i didn't break it <laughs> Yay! 96 gigs of RAM. I have a little helper in the office today. I'm so excited to show you guys that I have some new branding from my friend Chris. And I wanted to show you a little peek. So he sent me this. Um, we had a Zoom chat in the morning and I am in love with this logo. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And here it is on my website and we were thinking it would be cool to do something like this for like a YouTube intro, maybe like a quick couple of second shots with my logo. But yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I'm going to post it up on my websites now. <laughs> and we have like the little YouTube logo here as well. Ah, I'm so excited. I love this so much. Okay, I ended up uploading the logo to my website. It looks so good and just really suits like the whole color scheme and what everything looks like. And I also uploaded it to my blog. 
Yay, so happy. I'll leave his website in the description of this video if you guys wanna check out more of his work. I absolutely love what he created for me. It's just so me and it's so simple, but like really beautiful at the same time. I'm super, super happy. Oh, I almost forgot to show you. I also changed my YouTube banner, yay. Welcome to my cupboard where I've got some camera equipment and hard drives. So I'm going to select uh, some of the photos to copy. So basically back in the day, I really wish I had started a NAS system sooner because I used to use like one to three terabyte hard drives to put all my old photos on. So this is from when I started photography up until about like 2017-ish. And I've got double backups of all that stuff. So it's all safe, but I do want to be able to access some of my old photos to be able to make videos out of them to go through like nice memories so I'm currently spending many many hours copying over all these folders I ended up getting an 18 terabyte hard drive to be able to put all of these hard drive images and videos together onto one area but yeah I am currently working on a video about file management backup storage NAS systems hard drives SSDs all that kind of stuff so yeah I just want to take my time and make sure I cover everything in this video so hopefully you guys will find that helpful when it comes up so I thought I'd show you guys inside one of these hard drives so I was copying over files um, from this one and it just kept disconnecting so it had a bit of a dodgy case, so I just switched it out and I'm going to close it back up, but I wanted to show you guys inside one of them. And then once that finishes copying behind me to the NAS, I'm going to plug this one in and copy it over and it shouldn't disconnect anymore. Because yeah, I'm just leaving it sometimes overnight copying because it's like hours and hours worth of copying files. So I'm having some coffee in my Waikiki mug and I'm going to be editing this photo shoot that I did on the Canon R6 and the RF 35mm f1.8 lens. So I'm going to finish up getting ready because Dan and I are going to go out to film a little something for a video that we're working on. Something I've been doing recently with my hair is using this hair curler that one of my friends um, and model that I work with, Liliana, recommended to me. And it's so good to add like volume to the top of my hair. So I'll show you guys, I'll do one side and then show you a before and after. Sorry, it's a bit of a weird angle, but you can see it just like looks so much nicer because it's curly from the top to the bottom and it's not as flat <laughs> as this side. So yeah, I've been loving using this. We are out on location for our photo shoot back in our beautiful fields, which we haven't been here for a while actually, hey. When was the last time we were here? Like months ago. The pixel video? I don't know. Um, and I thought I'd give you guys a tripod tour. <laughs> so right now we are testing out the Tamron 17 to 70 millimeter f2.8 lens for crop frames. So we have the Sony a6600 and we are doing some autofocus tests for the video. So we have the Atomos Ninja V hooked up. So first things first, the tripod that I have is a Benro tripod and it has an S6 head because I know you guys are always asking me about that. However, um, the S6 head I think is more better for, more better, is just better for videography. So this is Dan's tripod and I still haven't gotten out to get my own. <laughs> I would probably recommend if you're after a tripod to get something with a ball head so that's a lot easier with photography getting portrait shots, landscape shots and being able to move it around whereas this yeah is better suited for video. And basically we just have the Atomos hooked up with a HDMI cable to the camera so we can see what's happening on the screen here. So normally what we do is Dan will half press down the shutter speed. So normally... <laughs> So normally what we do is I'll go stand here in front of the camera and Dan will half press the shutter button so we have the autofocus tracking and then we just hit record um, on the Ninja. Okay, we just wrapped up filming. I think that went really well and I'm super excited to put this video together. I had to get an outfit change because it was just way too windy and that dress was so light. Um, this one's a bit heavier, so it was a lot easier to film in this. <laughs> but I'm gonna head home now. Do you wanna say hi? Hey, hello. Hi. Hi. Okay, bye. Hello. <laughs>